If you want to learn how to move a part via script, make sure to watch the whole video on how to use the tween service. And if you like what you see, click the like button and subscribe if you want to see more videos. Okay, so starting off, what you need to do is create three parts. And you're gonna need to make them, you're gonna, they're gonna need to be anchored. And also grouping them is a good idea. Okay. Now I'm going to name this model moving platform. So I won't forget what this model is used for. And I'm going to name one end and another start. And then the last one platform. So now what we need to do is make the start and end platforms transparent. We need to make them can collide off and turn the transparency to one so you can't see them. Okay, make sure to keep the platform, make sure to keep the can collide on and transparency zero because we want to see the part and we want to stand on it as well. So now we're gonna put a script into the part and we're gonna to need to set our variables up. First, we're gonna to need to call the tween service. So local tween equals game dot get service tween service. Now we need to reference the three parts we're gonna use. So local start equals script dot parent dot parent dot start local and equals, well actually no, I can't use that. Let's do finish. Equals script dot parent dot parent dot end local platform. Well, that's gonna call plat equals script dot parent dot parent dot platform. Okay, now we're going to need to do a while loop. And you know, a while loop, it's not doing while true do, it'll just continue to repeat the process, whatever's in the whatever inside of it over and over and over again until you get out of the game. And you also need to make sure to put in a weight somewhere because if you don't have a weight, it will continue to repeat, will repeatedly do the same thing in the code over and over again and it'll crash, probably crash your computer. So make sure to put that in if you want to test something out. But for now, since I know we're gonna have a weight in this, we're just gonna delete it. So what we're gonna do is we're going to first create the table, a table, so local tween table. Oops, ta no, no, table. Okay, wait, oops, equals. Okay, so we're gonna put in whatever we want to change, whatever property we wanna change with the platform in this Table. So since we want to change the position, we type in tween table dot position equals start dot position. Because so we want to start the start position. Well, we want to first move the start position. So now we're going to need to create the tween info. So local tween info capital info equals tween info that new and now we're going to have to type in how long we want it to be which right now I just want to pick a nine the easing style so I'm gonna do e num dot easing style oops dot linear Easy direction, which is enum dot easing direction dot in. And that's all I'm gonna do because I don't want it to repeat 
I don't want any war versus, and I don't want to delay it. I just, don't want, just, just want the first three, well, the first four parameters. I don't want to fill in the first four. So now we need to make a local variable to create the, the create the tween. So I'm just going to call it move and that equals tween dot create. And now I type in the part, which is platform. And then the table, which is tween, no, the info, which is tween info, then the table, tween table. Then I just make the move play by typing in move semicolon play. And that should work. But in order for it to cycle between the first position, the start position and the finish position, we're going to need to, first we're gonna to need to uh, wait a little bit, a little, wait a little bit so it can get there. And then duplicate it. And change the start position to the finish position. Oh. Oops, I uh, forgot about that, that. You had to put a wait seven here too. Just forgot to do that because it didn't have, since I didn't make it give enough time for it to move there, it just kept mo moving to the start position. Now it's work. That was just a slight mistake. And yeah, the part works. It's easy peasy. It doesn't take that, it's not that hard. Just takes a little bit of work, a little bit of code to get us to work. And now it works. One other thing I need to tell you guys is that you need to make sure that the part is anchored at all times when you're tweening. Cause if it's not, this will happen. The part starts to teleport around. So you need to make sure that it is anchored because it will mess everything up if it's not. So make sure it's anchored. And also one other thing, since this part is anchored, you can't use touched event in most situations. You can use it if you want to apply it to a part that's not anchored. But if it is, but if it is anchored, you're going to have to use another method to basically make it do something when it touches another part. You can use something like get all touching parts, which I, I, that's what I think it's called. I don't really use it that much, but yeah, you're gonna have to come up with another alternative for that. So I hope you enjoyed the video on how to make a part move up and down through by using the tween, tweening service. And uh, hope you like and subscribe. See you later.